Hey everybody, it's Courtney from Creative Bug, and we're coming at you live today. And I'm here with Michaela Hi. from Sakura. Hi everyone. You guys are actually Sakura of America, right? You're local. Yes, we're local. We're That's here awesome. in uh, Hayward, California. That's so great. Mm -hmm. Local gals. First time in the studio, <laughs> which is super fun. Remember that we're live, which means you can write in and ask Michaela any questions about Sakura products. Yep. We're super lucky to have her. And she's actually going to show us how to use a quickie glue pen, which is um, a product I've only used a little bit. But uh, you may know Sakura from some of the other products they make, like the Jelly Roll pens, the Koi brush pens. Of course, Lisa Congdon is a big yes, fan. She's a big fan of our Koi coloring brush pens. And the Microns, too. Um, her drawing class uses a lot of different Micron mm -hmm. pens. So these are all the makers of that. Do you guys also do watercolor? We do. We have a palette. We have twos. We have them in brush pen form. Lots of different options. Some drawing, different kind of drawing pens. Yeah. Micron's are really popular. And the ink in the Micron pen is Pigma, and it's archival and waterproof. Which I love. Um, Leanna, who's also on staff here, sometimes she'll use those and then you can paint on top of them, which is awesome because once they dry, you can watercolor on top. Mm -hmm. Christine Aria's dog class too. Her port pet portrait, she uses them also. Oh, cool. Which is awesome. And what are we going to do for our craft using the quickie glue pen? Well, today I'm going to show you guys how to make a really quick and easy um, card, making these little pendant flags, and we're going to use oh, quickie glue. Um, so the cool thing about the quickie glue is it's really good for small spaces and fine details, and when you're making something like this pendant card, there's corners on it, and you want to get all the way to the corners, but without making a big mess or waiting for anything to dry. Which is genius. So this is what the quickie glue pen looks like, right? Mm -hmm. And so when you first open it, there's like this little ball tip that you just want to take off and discard. Okay. And uh, the trick with this one is you can write really slow with it, and it makes the glue come out nice and smooth. Um, another cool part about this product is that you can use it as a permanent adhesive as well as a temporary one. So say you wanted to like trace something mm -hmm. or make a template or something like that, you put it on, let it dry for a little bit, and then stick on top of it, and it adds like a temporary adhesive the way like a post-it note would. Oh, cool. So it's once the glue is dried. Yeah. Okay. So it's just sticky and then you can move things around. So that's it's good awesome. for placing things if you're doing like a layout or something like that. That's so cool. Yeah. And then it's permanent, like if we, can you draw and have it be wet and then like add yes. glitter? You can add glitter to it. Um, a lot of people like this for lettering. You can like glitter awesome. over that and then um, put the product on over it right away. And then once it's dry, it's set, it's permanent. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, well let's start on our card because okay. then we can actually put the glue pen into action. Sure, so the first thing, of course, is just fold your card in half. So we've got these little pre-cut card stock uh, pieces that Michaela brought. Yeah, and it's really easy. So just pick a few of your favorite colors of paper and it's nothing crazy for the triangle. You're just gonna make two cuts on the straight edge. Oh, I did mine backwards, ha <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Silly me, I'll just have to cut a line. So these are just free form, which I actually really like. Yeah. like. We're making a little bunting, so I like that they're not all perfect triangles. Super fun. Oh, and the back of these, this is um, a double-sided. It's a double-sided kind of cool. color. So um, and you can decide what you're going to write. I'm just doing a five-letter word to keep it small and short and easy to do on this card here. Cool. Um, so... Yeah, you can choose to either letter on the little flags first, and that's the cool thing about the quickie glue is it won't get messy and mess up your lettering, oh, or you can do it yeah. afterwards. That makes sense. What do you prefer? Like, what um, are you gonna do? I think I'm gonna letter first, just in case I mess up. Okay. Then it's not stuck to anything. I might, so like I'm gonna check my color order for my flags. Is that probably advisable so I know? Yeah, what that's order. a good idea. And like place them down so you can see where you want it. Yeah, you're right about five is nice. I think I'm going to do aloha because that's a five letter word. Oh. So that's fun. <laughs> I feel pressure to come up with something clever. You could do hello. And so I'm just lettering really simple. I'm using the micron pen right now, um, waterproof and uh, archival. So, you know, if this for some reason is out and sitting on your tabletop for a year or something, it's not going to okay. fade. Smart. Yeah. So if someone keeps this card for a long time, the artwork will stay there too. All right, I'm gonna write my friend Maria's name on this. Oh, that's because nice. It's her birthday coming <laughs> up. It's actually my mom's birthday today. Oh, fun. Maybe but you can make your mom a card later too. Her name wouldn't fit on this bunting. So <laughs> Maria's name does. But that's the great thing about this pen is um, it's quick drying. So, you know, you're rushing off to a birthday party, forgot to buy a card. This is something you can do super quick. Oh, I love that. And it'll dry before you arrive. <laughs> 
Yeah. Cool. So I've got my five letters here. And then you're just going to make a string for your flags to attach to. So I'm just going to go across the car like this. So also freeform. Nice. Yeah. Little string topper for our bunting. And then um, start with your middle letter, just so you know where it's placed in the center. Keep it all in line. This is smart. She's done this before. Yeah. <laughs> and um, you're just going to write real slow, the way you would with the pen. And you'll see that the glue comes out in this blue color, so you know um, the blue is when it's in permanent state. So once you stick it down, if it's blue, it's going to stay there. If you mm -hmm. wait for it to dry and it dries clear, that's when it's that tacky sticky. So it's the temporary adhesive if yes. it's dried. Okay, good to know. So I'm just going to place my flag here in the center and then hold it down for a second and it's it's down. Flag down? Yeah. Oh no, <laughs> I dropped it. You dropped your R. So like I said before, um, this is a really good way to show what the quickie glue can do because it's so small and the tagline for it is pinpoint precision. Oh, you can smart. get all the way to the corners. So if you see, like if you were to do this with a glue stick or like a liquid glue, it would be a mess or paste mm -hmm. or something like that. Um, but this makes it super easy. So I'm just working my way to the left here. Smart. Holding it down. No mess, really. I love this. <laughs> Yeah, so there's a lot of product uh, projects you can do with this. Like I said before, lettering is a good one. Some people like to foil over it. Oh, smart. Um, you can do like a quilling project, you know, when you roll the paper up really yeah. tight. Um, and that is actually a really popular uh, way you can search for this product on Pinterest. A lot of people use it for oh, quilling. Cool. Yeah, I used to work at Paper Source, and I remember we sold this. So in addition to those amazing jelly roll pens that you guys make, which I love, we also use the quickie glue, I yeah. think for like adding super miniature pom-poms to things. Yeah. Remember you guys that we're live so you can write in and ask Michaela questions if you have any questions about any of her products. If you haven't checked out any of our Creative Bug classes that use um, the Koi brush pens or maybe the Microns like Lisa Congdon's, almost all of her classes use the brush pens and the Microns. You can use the code Facebook30 and that will give you 30 days of creative books. So you can check out the classes that do use some of these really fun products. And we're also gonna do a giveaway. Oh. And actually, let's take a look at what's in that giveaway. Sure. We've got a little pack here. Michaela brought a little pack of goodies. And what were you calling this, the Sakura Sampler? Yeah, so these are some of our my favorites. Um, and they're really popular. So you're going to get one uh, size 01, 03, and 05 of, of the, micron. the Micron Pen. And so that gives you different line width options for journaling or crafting, whatever you want to do with those. We've got a white jelly roll pen that works really great on black paper and colored papers. Oh, it's great if you're doing illustrations. You can add highlights with the white. It's also good for coloring. You can fix the mistakes. Oh, that's smart. Like yeah, a really like a white tiny out white pen. out. That's yeah, awesome. and then of course the quickie glue is included in there. Mm -hmm. um, you got and some then, metallics in there. Yeah, three metallic jelly rolls. So you get gold, silver, and copper. And again, those also work great on black paper and colored papers that's as awesome. white papers. And there's like a little pouch in here and some fun little some stickers. stickers and a little lookbook. So we're gonna do three winners for that. Yeah. All you have to do is like Sakura of America page, the Creative Bug page, and share this post with a friend and you can be entered to win. We'll pick those winners next week and ship those out to you. Um, and remember we're live so you can ask questions. If you miss any of our live shoots, you can also check them out on our videos tab mm -hmm. um, on Facebook. And you can also hit that big follow button on your mobile device and then you get a notification when we go live and we have special guests like Michaela. Yeah. Another cool thing I wanted to mention about this pen is you'll see it's got this funny cap. So if it's sitting in your pen cup, it's really easy to grab. You oh, can find it smart. easily. I always wondered, it has like little wings. Yeah. And then um, another thing I really like about it is if you travel or journal or do things like that, it fits in your pen pouch. It's not bulky or right, messy. Right, like a glue stick. It so actually like fits a, in a slot. It's a good travel buddy to have with That's you. That's so awesome. Yeah. Look how cute these turned out. Yeah, they're fun. Yours are adorable. <laughs> Hopefully Maria will like hers. And then you had some other projects that you um, made using the quickie glue. Yeah, pen. so Let's I just these. made this little um, Let's grab the other ones part too. card here. And you know, it's just showing you again how tiny you can get all the way to the Love points that. in these hearts. So really I'm just cute. planning to like display that in my kitchen or something Love fun that. like that. This is some confetti that I just hole punched oh, different yeah, colors and made like this ombre. So you can letter and mm -hmm. you can do like really tiny glue dots. There's no mess here. Um, it just sticks really easily. I love that. And then same thing with this. You can see little tiny pom poms and these little pieces of paper were all glued down with quickie glue. I think this is what we'd used it before, which is awesome. 
Um, I really love the little pom-poms, and it's really, really cute. And then this, who's this guy? Oh yeah, this is my baby. And um, I had some ideas for his first birthday that just passed, and so I made this little cake topper. But he's got this funny hair, and so in order to get all the way into the corners and do these quick cake toppers, I used the quickie glue pen. That's so genius. This thing <laughs> is so, so handy. I've actually used it before, but I had kind of forgotten about how awesome it is, so I'm glad that we have some extras yeah. now we can play. We have a couple of questions. Carlette wants to know, where can I find this product? Carlette's asking where you can find the Quickie Glue Pen. Oh yeah, so you can just do a search for it online. It's just called Quickie Glue. It's on Amazon. It's in a lot of your local um, retailers like a Joann's or Michael's, places like that. It's pretty I easy I think Paper Source still sells them I in think some so of too. your like close stamp kind of scrapbooking places. Um, I feel like we should get these at Long Weekend because they're pretty awesome. Yeah. We definitely sell the Jelly Roll pens. Actually, you brought some of these. I did. We should talk about these too. Sure, um, so I can go over my card on, with these. Oh, so smart. a couple of the options you're gonna get in the giveaway pack, um, you've got your Micron, I mean, sorry, Jelly Roll Moonlight pens, and so these work really great on dark paper. So this is a dark blue pen, you would think maybe it would only work on white, but it actually works on dark paper too. These are one of my most favorite pens to play yeah, with. Yeah, and they're bright. They are really, really bright. They've been very popular go. for coloring lately too. So, um, you know, they're great for making your artwork look kind of different and stand out more than, say, just a typical colored pencil. Um, yeah, we definitely sell these at the shop, and they're so much fun. I use them in my sketchbook. They're so smooth, too. They're just going really, really nice. And um, the Moonlight's opaque, so it's not a sheer ink. It's just going to, you know, be really, really rich. Yeah, like a paint. Mm -hmm, I really like it. Mm -hmm. And then um, another thing that you said you guys don't have here at the office yeah. is... Um, Stardust pen. So Stardust gives you this really also very rich glittery effect. Also very popular for um, lettering mm -hmm. on like envelopes, Christmas cards. That's great. Um, as well as coloring books too. So you can do like pretty cool special effects with these. These are so fun. It makes me want to be like an eight year old girl again. Yeah. I just wish my pencil box was filled with these. I know. I but remember. I can still fulfill that fantasy. <laughs> I actually have a pen bag. So there we go. Yeah. And um, now if I remember correctly, there is the caps are all different, and there's a little icon they here are. that tells you the different line. Yeah, so like Moonlight has a little moon and a star in it. Stardust is going to have this shooting star. So that's a really good way to keep your pens organized and know which is which when you're picking them up. There's a metallic one. We don't have it in front of us that I really like, too. It's a sparkly cap. And um, that's really fun, too. It's like a more shimmer, whereas this is like a glittery. Yeah, it's just really, really shiny. Cool. Do we have any other questions, Allison? Thanks everyone for tuning in live. Again, I was uh, with Michaela, who was joining us from Sakura of America. If you share this post and like both of our Facebook pages, then you can be entered to win this awesome Sakura of America goodie pack. And you can try out the quickie glue pen that we did in our craft today. And you can also check out the jelly rolls and that white gel roll pen, which is pretty awesome. If you're not familiar with their products, you can watch some of our classes like Lisa Congdon's, Pam Garrison's. In my daily draw, I use the Koi brush pens. And if you are not on Creative Bug yet, you can do so with the Facebook 30. And we'll see you guys next week. Thanks.